Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Welcome everyone. for And thanks so much for taking the time to comment. They are amazing. I'll get to them this weekend, of course, as I do every weekend. I'll go through a couple of hundred comments. Now, the surface of the moon is like this. This is what it looks like. It's many layers, but it looks like toothpaste strips just laid out one over the other, just like Sinus Iridum uh, City. Bianchini Crater, the bridge, 45 kilometers long, the same thing. It looks white. We always see these white surfaces, white surfaces. We're going to see what looks like biological creatures on the surface. Look here first on the top left. Well, everywhere. It's just so beautiful. It's objects, unknown objects. It almost looks Mayan-like. Look at the crater in the top left there. Look how everything, the lines are going through and reaching objects line object line object like it's some kind of concrete like we build here with mesh and all destroyed some of these objects do look destroyed and when we zoom up obviously and in x-ray filtering we can clearly see that there are objects on the surface that really do look suspiciously constructed uh that's without a doubt for sure for sure inside of these dark areas there are those light sources and I guess the proper turn would be transient lunar phenomenon but I beg to differ you know if they have an energy source up there if they are inhabiting the surface of the moon who or whatever is up there they have to have some kind of energy source you you would think right here again look at this do you see on the bottom right there where the gray cloud is over top of the objects well these are real smokes or hazes um, or maybe even possibly clouds and further on in the video guys we're going to look at the creatures or ufos or clouds or storms that i found i do not know which they are but they are nonetheless absolutely incredible to look at all this proof look on the right there with my grandfather's magnifying lens for his stamp collection. God, I love you, Grandpa, and I'm happy that I saw this through um, his lens. Look on the left here, the craters, how it's detailed, constructed together, overlapped and overlaid. This is color on the surface, and the proof is in the gray footage. Zoom up into the gray footage. I descended the exposure I didn't tamper with this in any way. You're looking at the legitimate surface zoomed up in that gray footage. But again, you like don't even touch the saturation dial at all. Look at the elevated objects. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty incredible. And the greenery that is everywhere on the surface, gases or dusts hazes clouds that we see and this is very close i've been doing this for the past couple of weeks well for the past two years but seriously for the past couple of weeks i've been zooming up really really close and mark bradley hey bro sorry you just jumped into my head thanks so much for the generous contributions bro i love you man for it and thanks for the support you've been giving this channel for being a friend man for sharing videos with me and uh, you all can check out Mark Bradley's channel yourselves because he has a channel and he's into the sky too. Those just arriving to the channel, thanks a lot for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And of course, since I've been younger too, and for you guys too that are interested in space and the moon and what's up there, you know, I was able to get a chance to capture a UFO on the surface and then I was able to get it a chance to capture a real legitimate structure and put two and two together. I mean, it's very obvious. We're going to go see a UFO over Theophilus Crater. 
going by. They're so pressed up against the surface, guys. It's a white light. It's hard to see. People are not believing it. And they, you know, they see the white light and it's for them, like I said in, in yesterday's video, they are minute details for them. But seriously, it's alien life. Or it's actually that we are up there. I, I beg to differ. I highly doubt that, seriously. So we're going to start zooming up here, see a lot of different angles and the biological creatures, storms, or UFOs. Keep that in your head. It's one of the three, guys, that's for sure. And it's absolutely incredible. Uh, um, several lights turning around inside of clouds. We're going to see it slow motion, really close up. It's just like in the movies. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's absolutely amazing. This guy's going inside of the crater. Do you understand? This is proof that we have. These objects, even, we could see their shadows off the surface of the moon. The proof is there, right there with a the 14-inch telescope. And it's normal that, you know, we're seeing it like this. I mean, the military themselves and the CIA declassified information um, showing us that they were doing secret projects following UFOs. This is declassified information, very recent. And the proof is there. But then again, they got the same thing. That darn black, uh, they got a dark shadow, you know, or the white light. That's that's always what everyone and anyone gets out there in space. You see something illuminated or you see it dark, but you don't see the color for here from Earth. But under the atmosphere, on the surface of the moon, look here, there are creatures. Look at the movements they are doing. This is absolutely incredible. This is not possibly even not a UFO. Look what we're looking at. These things could be alive, okay? Maybe not an intelligent being, maybe some kind of animal, creature, whatever, in space. But hang on, not in space. It's over the surface of the moon.
Isn't the surface clear? This is August footage. Absolutely amazing. Nope, didn't get the moon. The moon is out right now. It's beautiful. It's beautiful behind the clouds. I'm going to be staying up all night for sure to be sure that I can get it. And if not, again, we continue. Those just arriving that don't know, I just got recently an infrared camera and has night vision full features on it. Look at this, guys. We're going to look at Theophilus Crater and a UFO. There it is. We're going to see it three, four, five times so that you can see it. That bright light. It went over the center of Theophilus Crater. You know, it's just hard to see because, again, the same color as the surface. These objects are going by in so many different directions, okay? And they can't, they cannot all be satellites. And you see what they do? They're, they're lights. You know, whether they are orbs, who knows? They're just amazing. Tomorrow morning, another video up. I'll see you all tomorrow morning.